and welcome to 6-1. Abused, neglected, exploited, forced to live in daily terror. The fate of thousands of children in industrial schools mainly run by Catholic orders in 20th century Ireland. The Child Abuse Commission, 10 years after it was set up, today published its five-volume report, and it makes grim reading. Children were subjected to institutional, physical, and emotional abuse. They were also exploited economically. Sexual abuse was endemic in boys' institutions, and leaders of religious congregations protected the perpetrators in their ranks. The state, responsible for inspecting the schools, generally dismissed or ignored the complaints. Well, this proves that this inquiry is a farce if it's treated different this way. It's a sham. Outside the report's launch in Dublin, survivors of institutional clerical abuse vented their frustration that it would not lead to the prosecutions of abusers or to the calling to account of the Department of Education, which was ultimately responsible for their welfare. What's it like being in love, Mr. Franklin? It is a shameful and a disgusting thing when the behavior of a boy descends to the level of a beast. Neil, it is an affront to God and a blasphemy of the soul. Look well on this and remember what you are about to see. This punishment is just the beginning. In the hands of Almighty God lie future punishments. And they will be more terrible than anything you can ever imagine. Go get Franklin. What's it like being in love, Mr. Franklin? Rogers. Picking in the yard. What? Brother Jonas stroking Peters and his brother in the yard. Don't fucking look. What are you doing, 636? You will face me. No flogging. No flogging. No flogging. No flogging. I'll crucify your mercy. No flogging. No flogging. No 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 Do you hear me? No I'll crucify no you. What's it like being in love, Mr. Franklin? No flogging. No flogging. No flogging. What's it like being in love, Mr. Franklin? Do you think it'll ever happen to me? <laughs> What's it like being in love, Mr. Franklin? Do you think it'll ever happen to me? James, good afternoon. Hello, Joe. Can you hear me now? Yeah, you went to the redress board. How did you get on? Uh, the I, I went to the redress board because I was sent to an institution in Glasnevin called Marlborough House. Yeah. It was a detention centre. Yeah. I was sent there now for, I would have been sent there for petty theft. I was 15, 15 and a half at the time. The cruelty that I suffered and the abuse that I suffered in at the hands of the people in Marlborough House was that the main gist of it is that I was locked in a little tiny shed. I was put into this little tiny turf shed that uh, we used to store tow for burning the, 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 the stoves for, for the cooking. And I was there for hours on end. And I managed to escape from it. And I made my way home to South Dublin. I went to, to my parents' home. And I told my mother that I'd actually been allowed out on holidays. Okay, yeah. And the next day, the, the next evening, my father was reading the evening newspaper and there was an article in the paper about, about us having escaped from Marlborough House. And it said that there was no trace today of the two 15-year-old boys who escaped from Marlborough House Detention Centre. It was understood the escape through a skylight. Now, I, for one, am terrified of heights, and I wouldn't, I, I, I wouldn't get up to a height. I mean, we were locked up in this, in, in, in this tow shed. That was the main gist of it. But I, my, my, my father had me returned to Marlborough House. And in turn, then, I was taken to the court in Raffernham. And at the court, uh, for the charge that I would have been up on, which would have been petty theft, but at the hearing, there was either a representative there or there was uh, acknowledgement.
allegedly made on behalf of Marlborough House that they didn't want me to be returned to Marlborough House. They didn't want to have anything to do for me, to, to, to do with me. So the okay, judge well, just, then you, you explain instructed that, that, I be, uh, that I be sent to Mountjoy Prison for three months. And uh, that I, I duly went to Mountjoy Prison at the age of about, I, I think it was about 15 and a half at the time. And I was sentenced to three months in Marlborough House, or sorry, in, in Mountjoy Prison. And while I was in Mountjoy Prison, I was sexually abused by another prisoner. And then that, 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 that they had put me on D3 Landon. I, uh, I was sexually abused for two of the particular days that I was there. I was only in the place and I was picked on by this particular guy. And the main reason why he picked on me was I, I, I would spend the day crying my eyes out in the cell, which had been, you know, I had never had that sort of experience before. He came, this guy came in putting his arm around me, comforting me, uh, this sort of thing, and then kissing me and fondling me and having me fondle him. But this is the sort of abuse that, that I had to put up. It is clear that the report has 